There's a remove Amber Heard from Aquaman 2 petition that has now reached its goal of 4.5 million signatures. So there's some new details from a executive producer at Warner Brothers Discovery. And she writes this update, which pretty much is a bombshell. All Amber Heard scenes in Aquaman 2 will be completely deleted. <laughs> and I laughed. It was that simple. Um, I, I just laughed because I thought he was joking and slapped me across the face. I thought this must be a joke. I didn't know what else to do. And he slaps me one more time. I lose my balance. All of a sudden, realizing that the worst thing has just happened to me that could possibly happen to you, I realize that I... I wish so much he had said he was joking. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And some breaking news. Some, you know, I think a lot of people probably suspected this would happen. Um, to find out via an executive's alleged Instagram post is very curious. I've seen some video. Uh, you know, some people are saying, you know, you know, I, I, I want to verify it because it's so hilarious and almost unbelievable, but their account is now private. We're talking about a executive producer at Warner Brothers Discovery posting that Amber will be removed entirely from Aquaman 2. Entirely. Now, Maybe these screenshots are fake. I've seen both screenshots and video, but I can't see the actual account. So let's take a look after a quick word from this video sponsor, MetaPCs. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, MetaPCs. Look, you've been around, you know that I've been talking about MetaPCs for a very long time. In fact, it's the primary computer I use, but it's not just because they're a sponsor. It's for so many more reasons. They have fully customizable, configurable PCs, and all the hardest to find parts in stock and ready to go. They also have ready to ship PCs ready for you today. Here's a couple of reasons why I like Meta PCs. First and foremost, it's veteran ownership. Meta PCs is a veteran owned business. One of Meta's owners has served both in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a purple heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in Meta's operations center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. They offer financing. It has 100% US based sales and support. And when you receive your PC, it's ready to go right out of the box. You don't have to get complicated and set things up. You just plug it all in and you're ready to rock. And on top of that, Meta PCs is offering you, my viewer, a huge discount when you use the link in the description or you use promo code THEQUARTERING. If you use my code at checkout, not only do you save money, but you support my content and a company that will not bow to cancel culture. So maybe you're not ready to pick up a new computer today, but when you are, remember to go to metapcs.com and use promo code THEQUARTERING to support me and to save money. And everybody wins. Hey, you might not be in the market right now, but it's the computer I use. It's the computer I recommend to my friends and family, and they are easily my strongest sponsor. So when you're ready, remember code QUARTERING. Now, I saw some earlier videos this morning going over an Instagram post from um, Juliet Lauren Fisher, allegedly. Now, the account is private. There's only a thousand people following them. I don't know if it went private after this went out or not. I can't see that covered, but a woman claiming to be a Warner Brothers executive producer, quote, broke the news on Instagram, but it's highly unlikely given there's been no official announcement. The idea that maybe this entire account is just completely fake, it's possible the amount of interest and social media clout available for um, for people to you know break stories like this uh, is is high. So I want to you know say hey, it's a grain of salt right now until there's some sort of public announcement from Warner Brothers. But 
have the after effects of the blockbuster trial ruling, which was majorly against AH, already begin to show. Apparently, a producer on Aquaman 2 has stated that the creators of the film have decided to remove all her scenes from the movie due to release in March 2023. Lauren, Juliette Lauren Fisher, who claims she is a Warner Brothers executive producer, shared the news on her Instagram story. Now, the account was public earlier, but now has been set to private. Interesting. Now, why go private? You know, like uh, if you were fake looking for clout, maybe you probably stay available. It is not known if Fisher's actually someone connected to the film's production or if she's running some sort of hoax account, a.k.a. Our Aquaman 2, a.k.a. Aquaman The Lost Kingdom cast and crew list on IMDb still lists her as the actress who will play the character of Mera, Jason Momoa's love interest in the film. Fisher's social media, social media shared read... All AH's scenes in Aquaman 2 will be deleted, exclamation point. This statement came out after the June 1st verdict in the blockbuster trial that took place in Virginia start, uh, starting April 11th. The decision profited Johnny more than the jurors uh, found all three of his claims against her to be true while believing only one of her claims. Now, meanwhile, several of JD's fans have rejoiced over the alleged development on Twitter, one tweeting, quote, confirmed she is out of Aquaman 2. Juliet Lauren Fisher, executive producer of Warner Brothers, on Instagram story now, hashtag justice for Johnny Depp. Never fear the truth, truth wins, blah, blah, blah. The second one said, she'll probably still get paid, so we might as well watch it now for Momoa and let her get the money from that because it'll just go to Johnny in the end anyway. Now, I don't know... Again, I, is this, you know, we don't have an official announcement, but it is an interesting development. Um, you know, you said a person, oh my God, OMGs, her scenes in Aquaman 2 completely deleted. She's officially out of the movie. Another person tweeted, I love this. Um, I don't know. You know, it, it, it would be, you know, I've seen the Instagram uh, post. It was like first... A picture about like going to some sort of party and then coming back and then that so i don't know um up here on the top if you're looking at the video this was the image it was just like a all white screen that said this now if you look if you try to find this person this is where it looks kind of how do i say um you know you've got to take it with a grain of salt because if I look for this person you see her Instagram this article on me WW which is not exactly you know the New York Times although <laughs> not exactly the New York Times either but there's also all these other kind of weird links to this very same person the same account claimed that Paris Hilton would replace her that that's just zero percent chance so you know and again this person um recently the very same person quote executive producer of warner Bros. revealed that the studio would seek to hire paris hilton so i don't i don't believe this um there is zero percent chance it would be paired i mean like what at least pay, if you're gonna like kind of do some sort of hoax I would think that um, you would have some better sources. I think that it would be tough to, to, to like... Now, I see a lot of YouTubers reporting on this. One of the videos I saw had like 500,000 views in an hour. They didn't seem to even entertain the idea that this might, might be baloney sausage. But, um, you know, my, my uh, baloney meter is uh, at a maximum on this. Do I think that uh, she will eventually be cut. Um, it depends how hard it would be. You know, it depends how much, you know, that she was woven into the actual, um, you know, uh, how much she was actually woven into the plot. How much did they mention her? Could they actually do this? Were they thinking of that when they filmed it in the first place, knowing that this was going to break? You know, this on top of, of course, 
the uh, petition now reaching 4.5 million signatures the day after the jury found in favor of JD in the former couple's trial. Since reaching 4.5 million, the 4.5 million target as of June 2nd, the petition has now announced a new target of 6 million, which would make it one of the top signed petitions ever on change.org. The petition first gained traction in November 2020, reaching 1.5 million signatures following his exit. However, it was revitalized during the trial, uh, the defamation trial. You know, the idea that you would have, um, you know, 4 million, 4.5 million potential ticket buyers saying, I'm out, I'm not going to see this movie if, if uh, this person's in it. I would think that in, you know, kind of the modern theatrical times, um, you know, that would matter. I mean, even a million people, just think a million people not buying a $15 movie ticket, it's 15 million bucks, right? Um, and, and if you have, you know, 4 million, now you're talking about 60 million shaved off the top of the box office, 4.5 million, call it 70, 65, 70 million shaved off the box, the box office. That's a massive, massive amount of revenue to be floating around um, to kind of stick with this person. Um, you know, there's been people that have come out in her in her support and support of her afterwards, but it's been very, 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 very few. So it's going to be interesting to see if DC does anything. If DC is just saying, "Look, we already cut as much as we could. We're just got to roll with it." They have almost what eight months to worry about, um, to worry about ref refilming or trimming or cutting. So they could conceivably do it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think this is a bologna sausage, uh, wishful thinking, or if you think, or if you want, uh, or let me know what you think they're actually going to do. Are they going to cut her? Are they going to make a move or are they just going to roll with the girl they brought to the dance? I'd be interested to read your comments in the comment section down below. If you haven't yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below the video. We'll talk to you again real soon.